So in this part where we're going to create a zoom range slider, this is part two, we're going to continue on creating the dot. But looking at this slider, in my opinion, this is maybe a bit too thick. So we're going to change this, make it a bit more narrow. And then we're going to put in here our circular dot. So we're going to scroll down here. We go into our plugin that we have created so far and let's reduce this, let's say maybe 10 pixels. I think that will be more than sufficient. That is far more suitable. So how do we create a circular dot? Well, once you enter, enter, and then we're going to say here, well, we can say here as well, ctx.beginpath. And the reason why is we're going to create now another shape that should be independent from this to avoid the bleed over effect. So then what I want to do here is say ctx.fill style, and the fill style in this case will be black. We're going to make this solid black so you can see the differences here. So then what I want to do here is to create the circle or the arc. So what I'm going to say here, ctx.arc, and the arc allows us to create circular or curved shapes. In this case, I just want to make a circle. So what I'm going to do here is I need to have here the x-coordinate, the y-coordinate. Then I need to have here the radius, basically how many pixels the radius we need. Then what I need here is um, the starting angle, start angle, and angle, which is basically 360 and 0 on the math.py structure, but I will explain it later on. And then we have here counterclockwise, yes or not, counterclockwise. On this case, we set it up false. I just want a full circle. We don't need to apply counterclockwise, although it can be very useful in certain circumstances. So what I want to do is I want to start here. Basically, this is the starting point here that we have when we load. So what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to say here for the uh, the X position for now, I'm going to say left. Then I'm going to say here the Y will be 10. The radius will be how many we want. Well, let's say we can say 10 radius. So it will be radius of 10. That will mean that the diameter will be 20. Two times the radius. Start angle. I will say here zero, and this will be 360. But this 360, we say here 360 multiplied by angle. And the angle, I'm going to make now constant for this. We're going to say a constant angle will be equal math dot pi divided by 180 degrees why one pi equals a half circle so that's 180 degrees 360 is two pies so once we did this what i want to do next is i'm going to say here ctx dot fill to draw the shape save this refresh and as you can see here we're getting there but the position is not really exact so we need to go a little bit more down so to do that i can just say here probably with the uh position for left let's say here plus five pixels oh sorry that's left i don't want that so we can do maybe here it will start at 10 and this is 10 pixels down so maybe we need to have here 15 let's save that refresh and there we are so what i want to do is because imagine if you're going later on to scroll to the other side you will see it will chip off part. So let's say here we have this right. Or what we could do if you want to have two shapes. But in this video, I will do only a single shape. I will make a separate video for that eventually. But if you have two shapes, save this refresh. You can see here it's being chipped off or clipped off. That's probably the right term. It's clipped off in the canvas. To avoid this, how can you solve that? that will, this will happen as well once you start to scroll this all the way to the, or slide this all the way to the right side. So what I'm going to do here is in the padding, put a comma, and I'm going to say right side padding. Just give it 10 pixels additional breathing space. Once I do that, you can see here, absolutely phenomenal. Now it works perfectly. All right, so now we have all of this here. I will not use this one here for the right side. So we have only one sliding item. So now we have this. Next video, we're going to focus on trying to make this more interactive.